to the administrator here in St. Peter. And what you're seeing right now is some ways that you can contact me, um, either through this email address or our website or on Facebook. We would love it if you would like us on Facebook or you can give me a call. I'm happy to come visit to you with you or your group or talk on the phone or if you have anything that you want to talk about about the city of St. Peter. So uh, I'll show this again at the end of this video blog, but but wanted you to have it right up front this time. So today is uh, um, Wednesday, the 17th of January, 2018, 2018. And I got a couple of missions today. First of all, is to talk about the workshop from just last night. We didn't have it on Monday because of Martin Luther King Day, so we had it on Tuesday, so just last night and again today is Wednesday. So as you can see on there, there's about um, three big items that we talked about. And one of them is pretty big, the other side, others are kind of medium sized, but I want to go through those and then give you some tidbits of information about what else is going on in the city and some other things that I think you should know about uh, what happens whether you live, work, or play here in St. Peter. So let me talk about this to begin with the workshop. Um, the first one on the list is a discussion about the plan um, for street maintenance during the summer. And so as you may know, if you follow us, we do a lot of street work in the summer. This year we're going to do um, not quite $600,000 in street work, repairs, uh, filling of holes, full depth patching, which means that if there's like a big hole, we'll dig it all out and dig out the base and put new base in and compress it and then put bituminous over the top of it. Um, and seal coating, seal coating. Well, let me show you a map of seal coating. That's kind of the biggest one that people really see and know about and hear about. And so here's a map of the tentative plan. And the reason I say tentative, I don't, I don't want to say final, but tentative is because as we get out of the winter months, sometimes this changes a little bit. A couple of blocks here, a couple of blocks there, added, deleted, those kind of things. It really depends on how the winter goes and how we come out of the winter season. But for the most part, this looks like what the seal coat plan. So if you live on those orangish, reddish lines, you can expect that sometime this summer, probably in August-ish, uh, will be out there doing seal coating. And so that seal coating, I, I know it's an inconvenience, but that seal coating comes and, and we do it, a block gets done in, in, well, less than an hour. And so that's where we lay this kind of oil, this emulsifier down. And then we have this kind of purplish chip granite stone that we put in there. And then people drive on it for a few days and it gets all compressed in. And then we pick it all up. And the, and the reason that we do that, it, well, is a couple fold. One of which is it creates a really hard surface, which is good for snow plows and our cars and all those kind of things, a nice hard surface. Um, and the second of which, which is it's maybe the most important, is that um, because of that rock there, because of that emulsifier, that oil that gets put down there, it creates a nice weatherproof coating, waterproof coating on the surface of the road. The worst thing for a road, the thing that wrecks it fastest, is when water gets underneath that bituminous or that cement and we go through fro um, thaw, freeze, freeze, thaw cycles and it, well you've all heard the term frost boil probably and how that, um, how that wrecks the bituminous. And so whatever we can do to help that roadway shed water to the curb line and go to the storm sewer drains is good and helps preserve the road. Um, now we generally do this on lots of roads. I don't want to say all and I don't even know that I want to say most, but we generally do this on roads every five to seven to eight years. It depends on where, it depends on how the road is um, um, reacting. It depends on the weather a lot from year to year to year and how we do this. But generally we do around 100 blocks of this work every year and it's a considerable amount of money and I know it's a little bit of an inconvenience for folks but it really helps that roadway last longer rather than tearing the whole thing up and rebuilding once every 30 years or so we can extend the life period of these roadways for a long time and so that's that's more efficient more cost efficient um, it's certainly more convenient um, having a road tore up in front of you is not a fun uh, time and um, we think it serves better overall so anyway watch for that the council is likely to take action on this overall plan, not just this part, not just the, the seal coating part, but the overall plan. And they budgeted for this. Um, this isn't all new, but, but we generally have them pass a resolution that says, yeah, here's the plan. We know that there might be some variation as we get more to the spring and summer, but, but here's kind of the plan that we're working for. So anyway, that was the first item on the agenda. The second item um, was a discussion about dogs in the parks. As you may recall, last year, um, the council expanded the number of parks where dogs could be on leash. And so um, there are a few extra ones. So if you want to know what those ones are, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, you can look it up on our website. It's a great place to look it up on our website. But it's more, it used to be just the mill pond. It's more than just the mill pond. 
Um, so anyway, watch for that. And then the last one I want to talk about is the River Hills Mall Home and Lifestyle Show. Um, why are we talking about that? Well, one of the reasons that we're talking about that is because we're going to have a booth there for Traverse Green. This is our affordable housing subdivision um, where we have you know 10 or 12 or 14 homes um, either occupied or constructed and waiting to be occupied or in some state of construction going on. Um, and it's just on the west edge of town within a couple of blocks of the new high school. And so uh, I promoted this before, but I really want to mention though there's be an opportunity in the mid part of February to visit with us at the at the Home and Lifestyle Show at the River Hills Mall. But you can contact us anytime and talk about this. This neighborhood provides great opportunity for working families who, who may be thinking that they can't ever afford a home to afford a home. It's a great opportunity. We've built two subdivisions of this type of housing in St. Peter already, and we have lots of fantastic people that live in the homes there. And, and this might be a great fit for you if you're looking for a new home in our area. Um, Although anyone can live out there, anyone could build a house out there, we do have homes for sale that provide um, opportunities for down payment assistance, um, less expensive mortgages, um, a cost break if you make under, if you're a family of four and you make like under $82,000 a year, you can get a, like a, about a nine or $10,000 discount. And so there are lots of great ways that we can help hardworking folks get into homes. And that's our goal. Now you might think, you know, why would the city want to do that? What 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 good does that do for the city overall? Well, it brings great people to town, uh, people that join Boy Scouts, people that belong to churches, people that volunteer at the food shelf, uh, people that work in the city or work at a car dealership or work lots of places. And as you know, um, we need more people to come to our region to work. And so this is one of the ways that we can help them do that. Now, if you want more information, um, there's some great, I'm gonna try and make this work out. I gotta kind of look around the screen a little bit. You can call that number, Russ Willie at 934-0661, 934-0661, and Russ can give you some more information and kind of get you on the process to get this started if you have interest. Um, there's lots of great opportunities, some already constructed homes and some homes that will be constructed in the future. Um, and so uh, also you can buy a lot out here. If um, maybe you want to build your own house and you got the wherewithal to figure all that out and are really excited about that, we would love to help you. Um, there aren't a lot of lots available in town, but here there are some lots available. So we'd love to help you look into that and see if you're eligible for some of the discounts and some of the um, incentives that we can provide uh, for folks that come to Traverse Green. So anyway, here's some uh, here's some tidbits. I do want to mention the hot sheet came out today on Wednesday. If you don't get the hot sheet, you can go in the upper, well, right-hand corner, would be right up here, of our website and um, click on weekly newsletter or e-newsletter hot sheet and you can get this. Or if you email, it, uh, email us right here, um, you can have it sent to your email box every week and it has lots of great information about decisions that the council has made about rules maybe snow removal things to remember where to put your kirby in the snow not in the snow not on the street don't put your kirby on the street you're recycling your garbage kirby don't put it on the street but lots of great information including information about upcoming meetings of the city council or planning and zoning or economic development authority all those folks that do that kind of thing so um, watch for that sign up for that if you're interested we'd be happy to send it to you um, the next thing that I have is I do want to mention that as we've had a lot of people contact us about um, having such a connection with the Minnesota Square Park Pavilion and as you know we're receiving some grant funds um, from the state of Minnesota to help rebuild the pavilion build a new pavilion that will meet our needs into the future and meet the needs of some of the festivals and community events that go on there so if you're interested in in kind of participating in that in some way and, and want to provide a few dollars whether it's a dollar or ten thousand dollars we'd love to have you help if you're interested and so here's a form um, give us a call we'll be happy to send this out to you um, and and um, and hear what you have to say about the pavilion. I also want to mention sidewalk cleanup. You know, we just had a little bit of snow, so make sure that you're out there cleaning up your sidewalks. After a few days, we go out and start to enforce the rules, which means that if you don't have your sidewalk cleaned up, uh, we clean it for you, we remove the snow for you, and then, frankly, we charge you a lot for that. And um, you can probably do it a lot more efficiently and less expensively on your own. So we really want to encourage you. We don't really want to plow the snow on those sidewalks. We really want you to do it. But lots of people use the sidewalks in our community. So I'd really encourage you um, to get out there and clean your sidewalk if you haven't already. I was just this week with the county commissioners talking about solar choice program and the opportunity to subscribe to solar energy within St. Peter. We have lots of people that have done it. I don't 
remember the exact number of panels that people have subscribed to, um, but we're doing it better than any other Simpa community. Um, Simpa is our electric buying consortium kind of group. And so we'd really encourage you, if you want to own a piece of the sun, want to subscribe to solar, this is a great way to do it. Easy, um, cost efficient, um, doesn't mean you have to put anything on your roof, any of those kind of things. So if you're interested, we would love to help you know more about that so you can make a choice related to that. I also want to mention the medallion hunt. Winter Fest is coming up in about a week or two, and um, so be ready for that. But but along with that comes the medallion hunt. And we want to remind you not to dig in the dirt in any of the city parks. You know, they always hide the medallion on public property, but you don't have to jump a fence. You don't have to go into a building necessarily dig around when it's closed you don't have to dig in the dirt you might have to dig through snow a little bit but you don't have to dig in the dirt to find the medallion so so don't don't wreck anything as you're looking for that medallion looking for that reward that you get with finding the medallion so I don't know exactly when the clues come out but they come out and people are looking like crazy so if you want to be those folks remember the rules and um, best of luck to you the next one that I want to mention is um, River's Edge Hospital there we go. I want to mention urgent care and just again all the millions of things that are going on related to the hospital and how excited we are about some of the opportunities that are going on there. Um, we got to mention what some people call our value menu. A lot of people have been using this lately for a sore throat or pink eye or an ear infection or other things for 59 bucks in cash. Um, we will not file your insurance paperwork for you but but you can get a great deal for 59 bucks to get those things taken care of. And George and his team out at River's Edge would want me to remind you that it has been a, the, a tough start to a flu season, an influenza season. And so the number one thing that you can do, well, there are two things that you can do. Make sure you get the shot. Um, but the number one thing that you can do day in, day out, wash your hands. Wash your hands before you eat, before you touch your eyes, before you handle someone else's pen. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Um, well, anyway, that's what George would tell you. So anyway, um, back to this. Here, if you want to contact me, there's some great spots. We'd love to hear from you. We would love it if you would like us on Facebook. And it's always so great to see you on State of the City. So please um, click on us again next time. And um, I'll stay warm, St. Peter.